principle of suction is based on the concept of creating a pressure difference to draw fluids or gases from one location to another. Suction is commonly employed in various fields, including medicine, engineering, and everyday applications. The fundamental principle involves manipulating pressure differentials to induce a flow of substances. Here's a breakdown of the principle of suction. Suction relies on the creation of a pressure difference between two points. When there is a lower pressure at one point compared to another, fluids or gases move from the area of higher pressure to the area of lower pressure. Atmospheric pressure, the force exerted by the Earth's atmosphere, plays a crucial role in suction. Typically, pressure is measured in relation to atmospheric pressure Suction occurs when the pressure at one point is reduced below atmospheric pressure. The term suction is often associated with creating a partial vacuum. By decreasing the pressure in a confined space or around a specific area, the surrounding atmospheric pressure forces fluids or gases into that space. Suction is commonly achieved through mechanical devices such as pumps. These pumps work by reducing the pressure within a chamber, creating a vacuum. As a result, atmospheric pressure forces fluids or gases into the pump, allowing for the controlled movement of substances. In medical applications, suction is frequently used to remove unwanted fluids, such as blood or mucus, from a patient's body. Medical suction devices typically consist of a pump system that generates negative pressure to draw fluids through a tube or catheter. Suction is employed in various engineering applications, including the transportation of liquids in pipelines. Pumps or other suction devices are used to overcome elevation changes or move fluids from one location to another. Household uses Everyday examples of suction include using a vacuum cleaner to remove dirt or liquids from a surface. The vacuum cleaner creates suction by lowering the pressure inside a chamber, causing air and particles to be drawn into the device. Straw principle. The principle of suction is evident in a simple example like drinking through a straw. By creating a partial vacuum within the straw through suction, drawing air out, Atmospheric pressure forces the liquid into the straw and up to the mouth. Nature of fluids. The effectiveness of suction depends on the nature of the fluids involved. For example, liquids may be more easily moved through suction than gases, and the viscosity of a fluid can impact how readily it responds to suction. Controlled application. Suction is often employed in a controlled manner to ensure precision and safety. In medical procedures, for instance, precise control of suction is essential to avoid harm to the patient. Understanding the principle of suction is essential for designing effective systems and devices that manipulate pressure differences to achieve specific outcomes, whether in medical, industrial, or household settings.